Hello everybody. Today I'm going to start the series on the little things that need attention on the 2003 Toro Personal Pace. That's a model 20017. First thing I noticed is my engine brake cable is getting quite frayed. See the little single threads are coming off of the cable. And it's a beat up here and there. Tools we'll be needing a pair of needle nose pliers and a 7 16 wrench. Let's get started. And as always, before any lawnmower repairs are begun, I disconnect the spark plug wire. For mine, it is uh, part number. 1048676. It's called the brake cable. And we'll compare. That end looks the same. And that end looks the same as well. First thing to do is squeeze these tabs in, and that will pull through. Then the cable swings out like that, and then the cable end pulls out just like that. Mine has an optional zip tie here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And then mine has a cable guide here. Go ahead and slide that out of there get it out of the way. The next step will be taking this uh, pull start assembly apart where I can get the cable loose. That's where the 7 16 wrench comes in. Don't lose the washer and nut. This piece comes loose, then this piece comes loose. Set the starter pull rope aside. And the next step is to remove the upper end of the cable. I will show how to do that next. Undo this upper end. And this whole thing swings up and there's a mounting tab right there that disengages that. It sim simply uh, slides out. Now let's put it back together. Push that back in. Turn that back in where it locks into place. Get the handle. Put the cable in like so. Next we move down to the pull start section. And then the plastic piece. Then the nut and washer. And this is the correct orientation things should be in. Uh, 
That's how that cable should be hooked in. Everything's in its guide and all lined up. And next the cable goes back through the cable guide. Like that. Before the next step, make sure the handle is down. Like that. And then... Put the other end of the cable in. Put the cable through the little gap there in the guide. And the mounting tabs need to be vertically. And it snaps into place. That's it. And as you can see, that is working. We'll give it a quick test start before the end of the video to make sure it runs. And I'm going to add my optional zip tie so that's not rubbing on the wheel. That should be good, and I'll snip off the excess. And here's a look at the completed install. Everything works smoothly now. No binding up. No more frayed cable at that end, which would have broken probably before the end of this mowing season for 2023. There's where the original cable rubbed. But that, that engages that switch easily. So we'll give it a test start here in just a little bit. And don't forget to hook the spark plug back up after repairs. Well, let's see if it'll start. <laughs> 